Hi, I'm Mark Hall, and I teach Agronomy 302 Recreational Turf in the Soil and Crop Sciences Department, which is in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at Texas A&M University. In the course, you'll learn about the multi-billion dollar turf grass industry, including what differentiates a turf grass from any other grass. You'll understand why we can't grow Kentucky bluegrass in Central Texas and why St. Augustine grass is not a good choice for Ohio, and explore the pros and cons of about 15 major turf grass species. The interaction of soils and turf grasses is discussed, along with methods to modify soils to meet our needs. You'll learn which grasses can be seeded and which must be established through sod, sprigs, or plugs. We'll cover how maintenance of something like a golf course putting green or a sports field differs from that of the home lawn, including fertilization, mowing, irrigation, and cultivation requirements. We can't forget pest control, where we stress integrated pest management so you can learn how to deal with insects, weeds, and diseases of turf with minimal impact on the environment. We even talk about artificial turf and the technological advances that have made those surfaces so much better in recent years. With water quantity and quality becoming more important every day, the public needs to know how best to plan and take care of a home lawn, since the majority of turf acreage is in that area. In addition to providing us with an inviting outdoor area around our houses, properly managed turf grass serves the public in many other ways, including reduction of temperature, erosion, dust, noise, and glare. The fibrous root system and biomass helps protect our water quality, both on the surface and underground. Choosing the right turf grass and management techniques for specific uses and locations can go a long way toward conserving our water resources. I hope you consider taking Agronomy 302 Recreational Turf. It's designed to be informative and interesting for students of any major, since most of them will someday have a home lawn or be involved with Little League or other outdoor recreational sports. In fact, only a small percentage of students in the class are actually agronomy majors. Sports fans enjoy learning about what is involved in providing the surfaces on which a golfer or their favorite baseball or football team plays. The class almost always meets a couple of times each semester outside the classroom, including once at the A&M athletic field to see turf grass in the real world. And for students who might be interested in turf grass science as a career, this is a great place to start. Rec Turf is actually the first turf class that I took, and it's what got me to come into this major. I was a general studies major before, but this gave me a good idea of what I wanted to do the rest of my life. And a lot of my friends, especially guys on the baseball team, taking it with me, and everybody really enjoys the class. I hope to see you in Agronomy 302 Recreational Turf.